Liquid limit is the water content at which the soil changes from the liquid state to a plastic state. It is the minimum moisture content at which a soil flows upon the application of a very small shear force. Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. And in this video, we will learn that how to draw a flow curve and obtain the liquid limit of a soil. I have been given the results of liquid and plastic limit tests conducted on a soil liquid limit tests are shown in this table in which the first row is the determination number second is the number of blows third is the weight of container in grams and fourth one is the weight of container plus wet soil in grams and the fifth one is weight of container plus dry soil in grams we have been given values for the four tests conducted on this soil also plastic limit test plastic limit is equal to 23.3 percent we have to draw the flow curve and obtain the liquid limit find the plasticity index of the soil and also the liquid liquidity index of the soil if the natural moisture content is equal to 38.24 percent first we will draw the uh, we will find the moisture content corresponding to the yeast test number and then we will draw the flow curve which is a graph between the number of blows on log scale and moisture content on natural scale from flow curve we can find the liquid limit and thereafter these consistency indexes that is the plasticity index and the liquidity index we will do all of these calculations in excel so let us move to the excel to do the required calculations in Excel, you will draw the table having the eight rows. The value for the first four are already given in the question and we have to find the value for the last three rows. That is the mass of the water in grams, mass of dry soil in grams and the moisture content in percentage. Mass of water, this is, the, uh, this is equal to the difference of the mass of container plus wet soil and mass of container plus dry soil. So for the first test number, uh, you will calculate the mass of water as you will select the uh, row uh, for the first test number and then you will write the equal sign. After that, you will select the mass of container plus uh, wet soil for the first test number, which is 22.24. And from this, you will subtract the mass of container plus uh, dry soil for the first test number, which is 20.1. And then you will press the enter and you will get the mass of water for the first test number, which is equal to 2.14 grams. To calculate the mass of water for the rest of the three tests, you will select the mass of water for the first test and then you will drag it till the last column and Excel will automatically calculate the value of the mass of water for the other three tests. Similarly, to find the mass of dry soil, we have been given mass of container plus mass of the dry soil in grams. To find the mass of dry soil, we have to subtract from this mass of the container. So to find the mass of dry soil for the first test number, you will select the uh, row for the first test number of the mass of dry soil then write equal sign select the mass of container plus dry soil for the first test which is 20.1 and from this you will subtract the mass of container of the first test which is 12.74 press enter and you will get the mass of dry soil for the first test to find the mass of dry soil for the other three tests select the value of the first one and drag it till the last column and you will get the mass of dry soil for the other three tests. Moisture content, this is equal to the mass of water divided by mass of dry soil into 100. This will give the moisture content for each of the tests in percentage. So to find the moisture content for the first test, you will select the row of the moisture content of the first test, then write uh, equal then you will write the bracket and then you will select the mass of water for the first test which is 2.14 divide it by mass of dry soil for the first test which is 7.36 close the bracket and then multiply it by 100 and press enter and you will get the moisture content for the first test which is 29.08 percent 
to find the moisture content for the other three tests select the moisture content of the first test and then drag it till the last column and you will get the moisture content for the other three tests so this is how you can find the moisture content for each of the tests in excel after you have found out the moisture content for each of the tests in excel you will draw a table having two columns the first one will be the number of flows and second one will be the moisture content to draw the flow curve you will select these values and then you will go to the insert and then to the charts and then you will click this scatter chart okay and this will give you the chart or graph between the number of flows and the moisture content okay you will delete this chart title and then you will increase the size of the chart then you will add the axis titles okay since uh, flow curve is the graph between the number of flows and the moisture content with the number of flows on the log scale so for the horizontal scale first you will change it to the uh, logarithmic scale so select the horizontal axis okay and then change it to the logarithmic scale write the minimum value for the horizontal scale as 10 and maximum value will be 100 okay and also you will make the tick marks visible for the major type as cross and minor type as inside to see the values uh, more clearly you will change the color of the uh, graph from gray to black and increase the thickness to the one point okay similarly you will select the vertical axis change its color from gray to black and increase the thickness to the one point in axis option for the vertical axis you will write the minimum value for the vertical axis as 20 okay and uh, make the tick marks visible for the major type as cross and minor type as inside okay so this will give you the uh, graph between the number of blows and the moisture content so write the name for the horizontal axis as number of blows on log scale and for the vertical axis you will write the name as moisture content in percentage okay so this is the graph between the number of blows and the moisture content okay now to draw the flow curve so you will again once again select this uh, chart and then click on the plus button and you will select this that is the trend line okay so this will draw a line between these uh, points okay then to get the uh, best fit straight uh, line between these point you will select this trend line okay double click on this trend line you will change it from linear to logarithmic okay this will give you the best fit straight line across these points okay and you will also select this that is the display equation on chart okay so this will give you the equation of the trend line from this trend line you can now easily calculate the liquid limit of this soil okay so this is our flow curve and this is the equation for this flow curve okay liquid limit is the water content corresponding to the 25 blows on the flow curve so to get the liquid limit you will simply put the value of x equal to 25 in this trend line equation which will give you the value of the moisture content or the liquid limit to find the liquid limit of a soil you will first draw the graph between the number of flows on the log scale and the moisture content on the natural scale 
the best fit straight line through these points will give you the flow curve from the equation of the flow curve you can get the value of the liquid limit of the soil for this soil the equation of the trend line or the flow line uh, flow curve is y is equal to minus 7.14 ln of x plus 55.407 since liquid limit is the water content corresponding to 25 flows on the flow curve so you have to put the value of x is equal to 25 in this equation to get the value of liquid limit putting value of x is equal to 25 we get the value of liquid limit for this soil equal to 32.42 percent after that plasticity index uh, of the soil is equal to the difference of the liquid limit and the plastic limit plastic limit for this soil is 23.33 so subtracting it from the liquid limit that is 32.42 you will get the value of plasticity index of this soil equal to 9.09 liquidity index uh, for the soil is given equal to il is equal to wn minus wp divided by wl minus wp where wn is the natural moisture content wp is the plastic limit and wl is the liquid limit putting values for these variables we get the value of liquidity index for this soil equal to 1.34 so this video showed you how to draw the flow curve for the from the results of the liquid limit of a soil and thereafter how to find the liquid limit of the soil from the flow curve i hope this solution video was clear and you learned something new if you found my videos helpful please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thanks for watching and stay tuned